do 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 some reviews. All right, guys. So let's break it down. I'm gonna to try to give you a quick pros and cons list to this heart cordless lawnmower. So I wanna be kind of efficient with this just so you get the main moral of the story here, okay? So pros, number one, look at my notes here. Cuts the lawn efficiently. It does the job, it will cut your lawn. And I think it does a pretty good job. I have not had any issues with it thus far and um, I'm gonna continue to use it. So that's number one. Number two, it's an easy setup. You don't have to deal with the gas, the oil, you know, priming and all that nonsense. You just, right out of the box, you charge your, your product, charge the battery, and then you pretty much, you know, do the levers as we showed in the video and you're good to go. So I love that. Number three, it's quiet. To be honest, sometimes I get annoyed by loud noises and this thing's a nice, you know, volume. Not too high, not too low. Real good. Number four, for this class, I think it's a good price point. I believe this is the cheapest lawnmower that's cordless that I've seen. Now the close second would be the Ryobi, which I've also learned is a distant cousin to this heart brand. So same company, it's kind of like, you know, Ford and Lincoln, kind of like that. So um, I think that's your probably best bet. You could look around, maybe I missed something. Let me know in the comments if you see anything out there that's cheaper than this. Uh, and yeah, number five. Uh, the battery. The battery's been good. I've actually mowed the lawn several times. Grant, I, you know, my lawn is not that big, let's be honest, but it lasted like three, four mows and I have not charged it yet. So, um, battery's been pretty good. Now, on to the cons. What do we say about the cons? Well, if you have a big yard and you have like a football field backyard, this may not be the mower for you because you're going to need something with some longevity. So I would maybe not go with this one. However, if you're really feeling it, I'd say go for it. Uh, con number two is, so the little flap that kind of mats down the grass and the wheels to give you that definition to see where you mowed, I kind of had an issues initially trying to detect exactly where I mowed. Now, this could be an issue on my end my grass was in terrible condition, and this video is actually not the greatest representation of how this mower cut the lawn. Now, I'll try to include some pictures in the end of this video here, and you'll see my lawn in a more current setting, and it looks much better, and the mower's done a great job. So, like I said, not really too many cons so far. Uh, if you guys want to see a follow-up video, let me know in the comments and uh, we can give you like, I don't know, one of those like post six months with the mower and see, uh, see my thoughts on that. But that's about it. So, see ya. exciting nowadays is a lawnmower. Now I did a good amount of research. I knew I wasn't going with any gas because I don't feel like dealing with it. And I didn't want a cord because I don't want to electrocute myself. So I went with this guy, cordless electric heart brand featured at Walmart. Now risky potentially might pay off. We're going to unbox this and let you know. Let's unbox this thing. Probably wondering what unboxing knife I'm using. And uh, I'm not. I'm just using a good old set of keys.
looks pretty exciting. Very riveting. Let me uh, get the camera here. All right, so this is what's inside. This is what it looks like when you open the box, in case you're wondering. Not very good at, you know, pulling out objects and simultaneously recording, so we'll see what we can do here. Right here, we got the, uh, the, the old bag for the grass to flow in. Set that aside. We got the uh, bag frame. Right here, it's kind of stuck, so uh, I guess we're not taking that out. We got our charging port thing. Couldn't find the words there. And uh, you see the lawnmower itself, and I gotta say, this thing looks very futuristic, and that's pretty much why I bought it. Um, looks pretty stealthy, and uh, I feel like I'm doing it with this lawnmower. I feel like I've uh, reached reached a lot in life with this. So, one of my criteria was it had to be one that folded nicely like this. So what did you do? Just this raises up. Okay. So that raises up. You have a lever here, a lever here. That's to like lock it in position. So you just turn it here, turn it, that's locked in. Now this is a little low, so you take these levers and you flip forward, flip forward, extend this guy out. Got to make sure it's fully extended, basically like just pull the bar up all the way. There's that. Here's where your battery will go and your key, which I have off to the side for the moment. Got to take some of these wrappers off on each end. And then uh, I think we're good to go, but don't, don't take my word for that. All right guys, almost made a crucial mistake. And disclaimer, I'm not an avid lawn mowing guy. Okay, last time I mowed a lawn was probably in like 2012. So, with that being said, underneath where the blade is housed, nice blade by the way, is your mulch plug. It was under here the whole time, and I almost took this out for a mow. So, I would recommend reading the directions. It's always good, and a uh, quick start guide, but uh, I ignored all of that. And I almost paid the price. So, I think now we're officially ready to mow. Oh, lastly, here's your little height, height adjustment lever. So, you get to go from one and a half inches to four inches, depending on how you're trying to cut the grass there. Pretty easy, just moves in place. So, pretty cool.